What's going on guys? I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving yesterday or actually by the time I post this it might have been two days ago but either way hope you all had a good Thanksgiving and uh, right now I'm just working on the Odyssey. I'm trying to get this thing put all back together today. So I just got the oil pan off and I got the uh, little bolt on the bottom of the oil pump taken off so let me show you guys what that looks like. So this is it right here. This is on the bottom of the oil pump. I'll show you where that's at when we put it all back together. But I took this off and then once you get that off, this spring will fall out after it. And then this little uh, piston right here, I guess you could call it. Uh, so these will come out of the oil pump. And what you do to shim these oil pumps and give them more pressure is you can either put a washer on the bottom of this right here or inside of the little piston right there. And what that does is it will put more tension on this spring right here and I honestly don't know how the mechanics work of it inside the pump but it does give it more pressure so I'm gonna be putting three shims on here or three washers and that should bump it up quite a bit hopefully I did two of them on my wagon and that definitely gave it a lot more oil pressure but since this one is a little lower than I would expect a stock pump to be uh, we're gonna try three washers and hopefully that's not too much most people only do one which uh, you know raise it like 10 to 15 psi but uh, since I want to see you know 30 psi higher than what it's at already uh, once it's warmed up I'm gonna try throwing three in there I mean you can't really go wrong with too much oil pressure but uh, I guess I don't want it to be you know maxed out at like 90 or 100 constantly that would be a little a little much so we're gonna try three and hopefully uh, that will give us enough oil pressure and hopefully uh, I'll be you know comfortable enough with whatever that makes to uh, continue with the build and put this turbo kit on it but yeah we definitely need some more oil pressure so hopefully doing this and adding some thicker oil will solve our issues so I'm gonna get these three washers thrown into this little cup right here uh, I just went to Ace Hardware to get these and gonna throw those in there put it all back together and then put the pan back on and then just start putting everything back together and see how much uh, pressure this thing makes. All right, so I got the bolt put back into the bottom of the oil pump. It's this guy right here. So we have the three washers in there and hopefully that is enough to bump up the oil pressure to uh, where we want it. And I also did check the two tens on the pickup tube right here. Those are nice and tight. The gasket should be good under those so there shouldn't be an issue there. And uh, yeah, now I get to put everything back together and fire up and see what the oil pressure is at. A lot of you guys in the comments were saying how I need a O-ring right here on this uh, center oil orifice, I guess you could call it, right under the middle cam cap. But on the H22, that's not true. It is true on a B-series that they do have the O-ring right here, but on the H's, uh, it was not designed to come with an O-ring right there at all. And I'm not sure how the B-series are, but on the H, you can actually pull this little guy out right here give it a little wiggle like that and there is an o-ring on this little piece right here that goes in there and that's all you need on the H22 that guy just sits down in there and there is no other o-ring that goes on that cap right there so I know a lot of you guys were saying that you think that was the issue but it's not there's not supposed to be an o-ring right there so I think everything is good with the head we also made sure to check all these little dowel pin things right here we're in and like I said, I had Todd come look at it and I was talking to Brent about it. Everything should be correct on the head. So I think it's really just coming down to this oil pump being a little weak. So uh, yeah, that's why we shimmed it and we're gonna see if that bumps up our pressure.
All right, so she's all back together. She's good on oil. And uh, we're gonna fire up and see what our oil pressures are like. And we're also running Schaefer's 20W50 now. So a little bit of a thicker oil. It's the same stuff I run in the hatch. Let's see how she does. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Way, way more. Way more. So we're just under 90 psi. Oh yeah. I could easily rev it up to 100 if I wanted to right now. But that's still cold. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. She almost hits 100 psi just revving it <laughs> at a cold start like with no load. So right now I think that's even better than my hatch. I don't even think my hatch gets that much. My hatch gets like maybe 80 when it's cold. 80 to 90, and this one's like just under 90. It's like 25% more PSI now. Yeah, because before on the cold start at idle, it was like about 60 to 70, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, now it's at 90, so we're gonna take around the block, let it warm up, and hopefully it doesn't drop too much, because as long as it's about 70 and above when we're like in the RPM, I'll be happy with that. So we'll see how she does, all warmed up. Yeah, it like, it pegs it out at 100. All right guys, so we got the minivan all back up and running. It has really good oil pressure, almost a little too much, but that's never a bad thing. Um, we're gonna actually head over to a car meet tonight in the minivan, uh, to put some miles on this thing, and it will be the first car meet uh, the minivan has ever gone to. Uh, unfortunately, there is no turbo, so we're not gonna be able to uh, be mobbing on fools, but we're just gonna bring it all motor and kinda hang out and you know see if some people are out there, see if they wanna check out the minivan. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get to it. We're already running pretty late, but everything seems ready to go. So we're gonna head out right now. Hopefully we make it and uh, don't break down because it's gonna be a pretty long journey. It's a good hour, hour and a half drive out and then a good hour, an hour and a half back. And then we're gonna be obviously cruising in between spots. So we'll see how the minivan does tonight and I'm pretty excited. So wish us luck and we're gonna head out right now. What's, What's up, up man? What's going on soccer dad? <laughs> how you like the van? Oh, sweet, thanks. Dude, How's we, she running, bro? We made it this far. So, yeah. that's a plus. How many miles you got on this thing already? Uh, I'd say, what, like 60 now? 60, uh, 60 or 70 miles. So and then we need to put at least 100 on tonight. Yeah, we're going to break her in good tonight. <laughs> no like, racing. You like that shifter? Damn, Check that out, bro. Sick as fuck, dude. That <laughs> I like that purple. like that purple. Oh, yeah. Well. That's on there good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's missing a couple bolts, two but bolts. it's not going nowhere. Well, I mean, yeah, still work. Oh, well, let's head over. Let's do it. Feels good work, that right too. Yeah, it feels really good. Oh yeah. I see the e-brake's a little close. Oh yeah, it is, it's but stuck. it fits. It works still. It's not like you really need it. Nah. Well, we're gonna need it when we take it to the track. We preload oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll figure something out though. Get a real yeah, I might put like a hydro one on. I like the fucking oil pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good we it it's good we got that gauge there because uh, it was low on oil pressure. The stock pump was like really weak, so today we took it all apart and put a couple shims in there, and now she's good. Oh, yeah. Now it has crazy oil pressure. We're like so sleeper in this thing. No one expects yeah, it. Yeah, they're like, who are these? People? For real, I, mean, I didn't even notice. Slow, People are probably but... like, what the heck's going on with these guys? Hey, it's slow for now. They're for like, now. Dude, why is this mini nano up in our car right now? I'm not good at backing in these <laughs> big cars. <laughs> what? It's uh, Uber time. Oh. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> we made it. Uh, get some uh, soccer balls, hat. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, what is the seatbelt? Minivan made it. Let's check out this H-Swap, bro. Yo, get my hip prop for me. Hip 
Boys. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Oh shit, it's the Miata that Brent tuned. So clean. Alright, so they just called the next spot. We're gonna cruise over there real quick. Minivan's doing good so far. Gotta get this heater going though, it's kinda cold. Gonna be racing the STIs and the Evos in that truck? Well, we don't street race, dog. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we don't street race. I told them behind my truck. <laughs> He's gonna give him a tow. Uber, right Uber Todd. Damn, just wait till the minivan has a turbo, bro. <laughs> Kids want some candy? Come on in. You look creepy. There's a whole squad in here, bro. That's so fucking crazy, dude. What? We just pulled up because we just got some fuel. Oh. You guys were all in right behind us. Yep, we're hungry. Yeah. Well, Taco Bell walking. was closed, so we had to settle on Wendy's. Yeah. People are walking. Dude. Are they really? And see if they, uh, the doors are open. Oh, no, the inside's definitely closed. Are they? No it's way. Closed. It's closed. I don't know what they're doing. I feel sorry for whoever works. This Wendy's right now. They're know, probably they're, they're probably like, so lost. They're like, damn, we're about to get off. <laughs> they're like, dude, it's, 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 literally, it's probably like two people working because oh, they God. never get activity here. And then now it's a car meet. Actually, three. Actually, <laughs> Trace. Three other other cars. Okay, anything else? Also, two chicken enchiladas. Uh -huh. I had to get. I know I love them, dude. The enchiladas are good. Chicken enchiladas. Never mind, you already got it. Yeah, how are you getting that in that? You're hungry as fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. You make me want to get something else. Like, it's not going to enough food. Dude, that's enough food. And Taco Bell closed. Wendy's line was way too long. We had to come to Taco Star, bro. What? <laughs> you still I'm taking a nap. <laughs> After all that food. Oh, Dude, we just ate so good. And Emilio's out. We ordered way too much <laughs> Dude, food. we got so much food. $40 you guys <laughs> wanted through. Yeah, yeah, you guys we wanted like $44. Well, it was like, four, I think it was $48 for everything. <laughs> that could have fed like seven people. It's worth every penny. Dude, yeah, we have, we have enchiladas we didn't even touch yet. Dude, yeah, we still have so much. It was so good. I'm going to be eating but, good the hey, next couple days. No, yo, but did it feel good though? Bro, yeah. <laughs> I got food for tomorrow and the next day. <laughs> now he gets to take a nice nap on the way home. <laughs> Bro, I, honestly, I didn't know it. Because like, it was all the way up. I didn't know the seats went down like that I either. I went down like that. <laughs> I actually put that one in before we actually left. It probably goes yeah, down more. Yeah, and I was like. It, it was... goes down more, but it's just hitting the seat. It goes flat, bro. <laughs> if you didn't have this, this, you could just make a bed. You right? could just make a bed. <laughs> Dude, we got to take this thing camping. <laughs> you, gotta do that, you gotta do that hammock. Oh man. Hammock I'll be hammock. sleeping while you guys are racing. <laughs> <laughs> Just need some curtains. <laughs> Just wait, till we, <laughs> just wait till we booster, we'll go out again. Oh, know, it's going to be so it's fun. Gonna be fun as fuck. Oh, yeah. Right. All right, man. Yeah. Till next time, bro. All right. See ya. Well, it's 2.36 in the morning, but we made it back. No issues at all. The man runs perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a successful night. Can I see the camera? And we still got great oil pressure. Let me give her a quick rev for you guys. Those shims in the pump 
that did the trick for sure. All right, let's see here. Let me get a little zoom in action on the pressure gauge. So fully, fully warmed up. It sits at about 35 and just a blip of the throttle brings it right up. Look at that, just touched 80 right there. 85 just from revving it. So the whole way back it was cruising a solid 80 PSI and uh, if you like really get high up into the RPM, it starts to tack it out at 100, which is, you know, that's perfect. I don't even, I don't think it goes quite to 100 fully warm. It goes to like about 90, 85 to 90, which is perfect. So those shims definitely did the trick. Nothing was wrong in, with the motor. The pump was just a little worn out. So I'm glad that solved our issue. Oh yeah, and also I don't know why, but when the motor turns off, the fan comes on. It's running right now, but when the motor's running, the fan stops. And I have no idea why my wiring is like messed up like that or whatever. So I can just unplug that real quick. Yeah, that's really weird. So maybe if you guys have any insight to that, that would be nice to know as well, because I can't get the fan to work while it's driving, but as long as it's moving, it does all right. And we do have the heater, but uh, yeah, getting pretty laid out. You know, we didn't do any races or nothing like that. It is NA, it's also low compression. So some of you guys in the last video were like, oh, why did it only make 124? We didn't rev it out very hard and it's also much lower compression than the factory uh, compression would be. So all motor, it would not be very fast and it's, it's not very fast all motor. So she needs a turbo and then she'll really wake up. But uh, yeah, it was a very successful night. We made it back in the minivan. We had a lot of fun. Not sure how much footage we got. You know, we didn't film too many of the cars, but uh, definitely got a lot of miles on the van. And yeah, I think tomorrow I'm gonna start ordering some turbo parts for this thing. I know you guys wanna see it boosted, and I do too, and that's when we're really gonna have fun. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.